So I bought this voice recorder on Amazon. Um, I paid for this with my own money. I know that I'm an Amazon Vine voice, but uh, I actually bought this. I didn't get this for free. And it's an interesting little gadget, I'll tell you that. I actually have another voice recorder, a Sony one that's like a professional voice recorder. And that one's uh, pretty good for recording audio and stuff like that uh, to dub over uh, your video. Uh, if you're recording audio in body on your camera, say for example, and you want to replace that with a cleaner audio, the, I use my Sony for that. But that's not why I bought this one. I bought this one because I wanted to have something that was kind of a little bit incognito. And uh, this one here, you can't even tell what it is really by looking at it. You know what I mean? Like if you look at it, it kind of resembles a little bit. Here's my AirPods that I have or whatever you want to call them, wireless uh, earphones. And it kind of resembles that, you know, and when you see this, it's very incognito, so you don't really know what it is. And the settings on it are pretty basic as far as the functionality of it, which is good because uh, it doesn't require much uh, learning to be able to figure out how to use it. So, you see, if I put it in V, which is the second setting, it has uh, a voice-activated um, recording now. So, you see, if it hears something, it's just going to automatically turn on and start recording, and when it starts recording when this, the audio or the sound is being uh, heard and then when there's no sound it automatically stops recording. Now I put it in V which is it'll start recording automatically if it hears something so it should be recording me at this very moment. Um, this is nice because it's one of those things that's kind of like a little bit of a spy uh, video or voice recorder excuse me not video recorder voice recorder so you can kind of put this somewhere inconspicuous where people wouldn't notice it and as soon as it hears anything it'll automatically start recording and when it hears no more sound it'll stop the recording at that point in time. If you calibrate this thing uh, following the instructions in the manual you can set the, the time and date and all that sort of thing so of course you'll have that information too so you'll know when it was that whoever was saying whatever about whatever topic it happens to be at what time of day it was and, and what day it was and all the rest of that sort of thing so it's handy you know I think this is also good you know for students if you're a student and you want to record lectures I would kind of wish I had this back in the days when I was in school but that's a long time ago now you know you, you could just basically put this on your desk like that and it'll record the the lecture so that you can oh, I should put it in camera you just put it on your desk it'll record the lecture and uh, you can play it back later um, you know if you were trying to uh, make sure you retain that information correctly uh, that would have been very handy when I was going to school but I didn't have that then but for students I think this would be a great little item uh, it recharges via USB-C and it also transfers files via USB-C which is nice uh, it also has another setting now if I turn it off See, it, it flashes that red light and that means that it's saved the file and it was hopefully recording me that entire time. Now, if I put it onto the furthest setting, then it, it'll automatically start recording. So you see it, it blinks a few times <clears throat> and now you know it's recording. So I'll replace the audio so you'll be hearing the audio from this. So this is the audio coming from the actual voice recorder at this point in time. And I think the microphone is here on the end. so. Uh, it's a very high sensitivity microphone because it's meant to pick up sound, like I said, as far as um, being incognito. So if it's placed somewhere where it's waiting, in a sense, on the V setting, uh, the moment it hits sound, it has a very high sensitivity. So the voice recordings that come off of this or whatever the recording happens to be are normally uh, quite loud. So that's for the sense of having it a uh, very sensitive so that it could pick up that noise you know otherwise it'll be too quiet and if people are standing far away from it they may not be able to hear it so let me turn that off now and there you can see once it does that little red thing and shuts down that means it saved the file so this has a nice other little function which I'll show you another cool thing about this is that if you find yourself uh, in a place where you'd like to sort of hide it as long as you have metal it's magnetic so you could stick it to whatever metal surface you find and then put it in the V setting, say for example, and unbeknownst to anybody else, you'll be recording conversations or whatever it happens to be. So it's a nifty little spy thing, and, and the battery on it is supposed to have a really amazing battery life. It's supposed to last an extremely long time. I charged it once, and I've never had to charge it again, quite frankly. Uh, the other thing is, is that it has 16 gigs of memory on it, so it could virtually record a ton of audio files 
hours and hours and hours. I don't know what the full capacity is, to be honest with you. I can't remember what it said in the manual, but you'll be hard-pressed to sort of um, run up this memory uh, to its full capacity. Uh, it records as a WAV file, which is good. Uh, you know, WAV uh, or MP3 are fine, but this records as a WAV file, so uh, it's easily played back, played back uh, with just about any... Uh, audio software on most computers. Uh, I haven't had an issue playing any of it back, and and yeah, I I like it because it's it's like I said, it's small, it's incognito, it's discreet. Like you 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 can't really tell what it is that you're looking at when you see it. Only you, who's the owner of this type of thing, who may want to, you know, put it somewhere and leave it there for the moment, will understand what that is. And obviously, this is kind of visible, but you know, you could put it somewhere where it's a little harder to see. Say, for example, something like this and people may not recognize that it's there or realize that it's there and unbeknownst to everybody else it's going to be recording conversations and all the rest of that stuff so you can find out what people might be saying behind your back and one last thing I should mention it comes with all these extra accessories this is the thing that you're gonna to have to plug into the uh, voice recorder via the USB-C like this which has a, a 3.5 millimeter jack on the other side so you could attach uh, any pair of headphones or the ones that they give you with it which are these right here it's just a pair of wired uh, headphones like that and you also get with it uh, it looks like a USB to dual USB-C or USB-C excuse me it's not dual USB-C but USB-C and micro uh, USB and of course you get USB to uh, USB-C to plug into the computer so you could download your files and it comes in this little box here you can see that but here you go that's the box so yeah it's a little voice recorder incognito a bit of spy stuff type of thing that nobody will really know what they're looking at when they see it and probably pay it no mind and you'll be the only one to understand what it is that people are seeing here